Hey, Enix here, your founder and publisher of Business of Architecture, and we just completed Q1, so now is a fantastic time to do as Zig Ziglar says, have a little checkup from the neck up. Where are you in relation to your yearly goals? So if you have an income goal or other goals for the year, you should be a quarter of the way there. It's simple math. So now's a good time to go back, look at the preceding three months, are you on target to meet your goal? In other words, are you a fourth of where, a fourth of the way where you want to be? I discovered that in one of my businesses, I'm 30% short in the revenue that I want to have for that particular business. So what does that tell me? That tells me that now I'm 30% of the way behind where I want to get to be. Going into Q2, I'm already starting back on the wrong foot. So I need to have a plan. This is what I'm going to be working on over the next couple of days or so, is making a plan to make up that 30% of lost revenue for Q1 that I didn't get. And I'm going to look at putting into, uh, putting into place a strategy to be able to not only make up that revenue, but also hit my quarter two target. That's for one of my businesses. The good news is in another one of my businesses, I crushed my revenue goal and actually surpassed it. So I'm good there. So that's always good to see. Now, the question for you is, do you have targets for the year? Do you have your sights set on something that you want to achieve? If you don't, I encourage you make those goals, make those plans. I'm going to give you one tip that I found to be very effective for being able to meet my goals, right? So a lot of times we'll focus on result goals. We'll focus on, and I even talked about it earlier in this video, we'll talk about a revenue number, a certain amount of money we want to make, or maybe we want to lose some weight, or we want to achieve some result in our life. But I'm going to encourage you not to set your goals around results. So your outcome don't make a goal-oriented outcome. It's nice to have an outcome that you want and kind of file that away and you can look at that later, but you should make your goals be the activities that drive that particular outcome. So let me give you an example. <clears throat> Say you want to get fit, you want to hit a certain weight, you want to have a certain level of health. Instead of focusing on the weight and weighing yourself every day, figure out what is the activity or activities that you need to do on a daily basis to be able to get that outcome. So in the case of being physically fit or in the case of losing weight, well, you could exercise every single day. So now instead of your goal being, I want to weigh you know, 180 pounds in six months, you could say, I want to go to the gym every single day. And if I go to the gym every single day, I can, I can celebrate that. Now the nice thing about focusing, the fantastic thing, the reason why you really need to focus on the, shall we say, the activities instead of the result is because a lot of times the result, you don't have a direct control over it. So for instance, for your revenue, you know, unexpected things can happen. You have no control over how many people are going to respond to the offers you make in your market, how many people are going to actually take you up on the offer to do their project. But what you can control, you can control your marketing activities. You can control your networking activities. You can control how many people you call on a weekly basis, how many lunch meetings you have with potential contacts and networking contacts. So I encourage you, if you're not already having goals built around the, uh, the activities that drive your results, here's the challenge that I'm going to give to you. Identify the outcome you want to have. This may be revenue. It may be a better kind of project that you want to start bringing in. After you have the outcome goal, think about what is the one thing that you need to do that will have the biggest impact on that outcome goal. What's the daily activity or the weekly activity that needs to happen such that if you do it, you will achieve that outcome goal. And then it's a simple matter of tracking, making sure that you're doing that thing on a daily or a weekly basis. At the end of every week, go back and look and ask yourself honestly, did I do that action? If you didn't do that action, then you're going to have to figure out why not? What is it that's getting in the way? Is it priorities? Is it lack of motivation? Is it all lack of time management where other things are getting in the way? Figure that out, then come up with the solution to fix it. This is known as constant and never ending improvement, or as the Japanese call it, I think they call it Kaizen, always doing a debrief and figuring out how you can improve upon what you did in the past. So congratulations on watching this video. Congratulations on getting through quarter one. Look forward to having some awesome success for you. Let me know what your plans are for quarter two. What are the things that you want to improve? I'll tell you from my perspective, what I need to do is my business of architecture, this particular company is the one where we're 30% under revenue. So I'm going to take some actions to be able to expose more, uh, expose more people to the coaching programs and to the business success programs that we offer through business of architecture. 
You'll probably be hearing more about that and I'll keep you updated how I'm doing with my goals. I would love to hear how you're doing with your goals and where you need help. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and click subscribe, like the video, put your comment below this video, and if you don't already have access to it, go over to freearchitectgift.com, get access to the, the four, it's, I've prepared a video for you, it's a four part architecture from Profit Map. you can get that for free by going to freearchitectgift.com. In that video, you'll discover the four different areas that you need to focus on in your practice to be able to double your revenue in the next 12 months. All right, that's it for today. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.